Survey says, welcome to the course. This course will walk you through each step of the survey development process with an emphasis on applications in R. In this first lesson, we'll sketch out the survey development process along with introducing key terms that we we'll use throughout the course. Let's get started. You've probably seen a survey like this before. This is a market research survey asking consumers to rate their attitude toward a set of statements. Looks pretty simple. There's actually a lot of cool statistics going on behind the scenes. Calculating those cool statistics in R is the focus of this course. But before we get there, let's cover some terms. The purpose of this survey is to measure brand reputation. The survey consists of nine items, which respondents rate on a scale of one to five, but more formally, this is known as a Likert scale. Likert scales don't have to be five point, but that's the most common. A published Likert survey looks like it was developed pretty effortlessly, but there are a lot of steps involved in building a survey. Here's a helpful flowchart from a paper by Timothy Hinken illustrating the entire survey development process. We will be referring to this flowchart throughout the course. First things first, step one, item generation. Collecting data from busy consumers is difficult, so before we ask for their attention, we want to assess the strength of our items. To do this, we'll enlist the opinions of subject matter experts. The first item generation diagnostic we'll look at is inter-rater reliability. There are several ways to do this. We could take a raw percentage agreement, Let's do that using the agree function from package IRR. We have 50% raw agreement between the two raters. Not great, but there seems to be some shared basic understanding. Raw agreement does not account for agreement being due to random chance. To adjust for that, we will use Cohen's kappa. The psych package includes the Cohen.kappa function. Because our rankings are ordinal, the weighted kappa provides a more robust measure of agreement. We'll use the guidelines here to assess the extent of inter rater reliability. A similar but distinct measure for item generation is content validity. This refers to the extent to which an individual item represents the concept of interest. The content validity ratio, CVR, is a ratio scaled from minus one to one indicating the content validity of each item. Experts rate items on a scale ranging from not necessary to essential. The CVR is derived by the total number of experts and the number of those experts who rate the item as essential to the survey. The psychometric package includes the CV ratio function to help calculate this statistic. CV ratio takes two arguments, N total for the number of experts and N essential for those rating the item essential. Let's say we asked five experts about the strength of an item. Three of them assessed it as essential. Passing those numbers to CV ratio, we have a CVR of 0.2. How do we interpret that? CVR values range from minus one to one, indicating perfect consensus for and against the absolute need for the item respectively. The threshold for whether to keep or drop an item due to its CVR depends on the number of experts in the panel. Now it's your turn to practice with measures of item generation.